fuck. Smells good though, to be fair. Mm, not bad. <sighs> I'd have to say, this one is better. But this one is actually not bad. It's uh, It has the flavor, same as this. A little bit uh, fruity. There's just a little bit of bitterness in it, but uh, it's it's not too far from this one. So I'd say I'd say it's not bad. You know, if if you want to have this option to do the dick dick, <laughs> although it will take a lot of time and energy to do so, but it is an option. It's not bad. This one is uh, 
the fruity notes is a little bit more distinct. It's a little bit more pronounced than this one. This one it's combination of the fruitiness and the bitterness because the the size is not consistent. Some of it is very grind. Uh, some of it is very uh, very fine and some of it is coarse. So that's what makes it a little bit uh, uneven, the taste profile. But all in all, I think it's not bad. If you want that as an option, I wouldn't hold it against you. It's, uh, it's an option. If you want to have coffee and you don't have a grinder that's good, if there's a will, there's a way. You can use this, the dick dick method. And uh, it will get you a, uh, a nice coffee. It's better than three in one, definitely. Uh, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Not, it's not better than, uh, of course, uh, the one when you use a, a good grinder. So yeah, again, it also depends on the beans, but this is a good comparison. I think, uh, I think <laughs> we learned something new today. So there we go. Uh, would I recommend this to people who doesn't have any grinder? Absolutely. It's fine coffee. It's not bad. But um, if you want the best out of your beans and you don't want the hassle of using your energy for 10 to 15 minutes trying to get the beans super fine or just passable enough so that you can use it for a, for a French press, then uh, I suggest <laughs> buy a grinder. It's, it's not that expensive. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.